what she's thinking. But she she dumped me too and invited me to her wedding. That's a dick move. That's like if your boss fired you and was like, hey, you want to swing by the Christmas party? <laughs> And uh, thinking about the breakup, thinking about the relationship, I remember uh, my dad was trying to help me get over her, and you know, we'll talk about my dad a lot up here. Uh, <laughs> but we we get so close uh, to communicating with each other, and this is a prime example. He goes, you know, Tommy, I think you'll be fine. She's not uh, that cute. <laughs> That's weird from your father about the woman you're in love with. What do you say to that? What can you say? Neither is mom. <laughs> I, uh, my mom's heard that joke plenty of times, and uh, she's always just kind of like, hey, Tom, don't love it. I don't, I don't think it's that funny. I'm like, I don't think you're that cute. So, uh, <laughs> good, good, good. I, uh, my ex was very Catholic. It's, uh, it's gonna be a little Catholic ceremony. Do we have Catholics in here? Are we all? Yeah! Woo! <laughs> yeah? I regret asking, all right? Relax, he's not back yet. We got time. Uh, we do have Catholics in here. Yeah. Well, prophet joke. Uh, yeah, you guys, did you grow up Catholic, all of you guys? Nice. Are you still, are you practicing still? Recovering. Nice. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, same. Um, I, uh, where, where'd you grow up? Barnesville. Barnesville. That's made up. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like something a comedian would say to make fun of small towns. <laughs> Why don't you go back to fucking Barnesville? <laughs> I assume you know the man with his arm around you. <laughs> you look like, yeah, you look like you're from Barnesville. So. But I wish I went through 8% of the puberty that you went through. Yes. You want some land, for sure. And you just throw your axe over your shoulder and you walk around. Yes. <laughs> I can just see you in your front yard, like, these riots aren't getting out here! <laughs> Boy, the rest of this set is gonna go downhill. Because I can't recreate Barnesville. <laughs> this is my favorite thing ever. Okay. How'd you guys meet? Tinder. Nice. You guys basically fucked in an alley. That's great. That's <laughs> no, good for you. Were you both in the Twin City? You were both yeah. living in the house when you met. Nice. How long have you been together? Uh, six years. Oh, congrats. Six years. There we go. Wait, what are your names? Megan? Grant. Grant. Hey, give it up for Megan and Grant. <laughs> I don't know. My ex was very Catholic. That's what we were talking about. She's like, uh, you know, still in it though. You know, she's like a diehard. Yeah, she's like a tell the truth at confession Catholic. You know, <laughs> like church during the week, kneel when you don't have to kneel. You know, go up to communion, hands behind the back, just tongue. You know. <laughs> yeah. We know the type. Yeah. Like, like, like several. People in her family had gray ponytails past their butts. Why is that a red flag? But it is, you know? It's, it's just, so like, for her, big thing, no sex before marriage. For the diehards, you know? That's a big thing, no sex before marriage. She was always like, Tommy, you can't do it, won't have sex before I'm married, so. I'm excited to go to the wedding, just to be like, how about now? <laughs> The timing could be better. I mean, that logic checks out. That's <laughs> good. The sex before marriage thing was so weird growing up. They told us at such a young age in, in Catholic school, they're always just, they, they were like, you can't have sex before you're married. 
And I remember one time in like fifth grade, Mrs. Sullivan was telling me this. She goes, you can't, you can't have sex before you're married. And I remember one of my friends, Jack, asked, why can't we have sex before we're married? And I was like, better question, how do we have sex? <laughs> They tell you not to have sex before, they, before you know what it is. Which only makes you want to do it more. Yeah. It's like every single kid that day went home and Googled sex. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's, it was insane. Plus, they're just like, they, they just drill it into you from an early age. There's no reason. It's just like, you don't have sex before marriage. You can't have sex before marriage. You can't have sex before marriage. Unless it's with Father Pete. Then it's like, <laughs> no, no, it's fine. They're, they're cool with that. That's fine. They have, it's fine. They have a budget for it. They're going to cover it. The Catholic Church in Minnesota spent $10 million in one year. Uh, that's all I'm saying. On settlements. And, uh, yeah, no one talks about it. Because they got paid not to. Uh, yeah, they signed some stuff. But I didn't, so I can talk about it. <laughs> I just, I don't know. It was, it's weird. They, they, it, when you're like in sixth grade, so like, that was the first time that they also told us that we could be priests. Like, that's the first time, if you're in Catholic school, they, they, they flirt that as an idea. They're like, they, a, a priest came into our classroom. He's like, you should consider entering the priesthood. I'm like, I'm way more concerned about the priesthood entering me. You <laughs> <laughs> tell me I don't look like a prime target. I, I already told you I was a child actor. I was cute. I was hot. So, 